All right, so these are the can or the jars. These are the jars. Prepare your gear and create your recipe. It's telling me that you have to make sure that you wash everything first with hot soapy water, everything, all of the jars, the lids, and the bands, right? And then it says to keep warm until you're ready to use it. <clears throat> so you can't go clean them. I mean, unless if it's hot, okay? If it's hot. You can do that if you're going to put, like, say, green beans in there. But I'm going to use... Actually, you know what? Actually, I can cool down my sauce. Yes, if my sauce were hot. If anything that you were using was going to be hot, right? You, it says so that you don't break the glass, right? If you put a hot item in there and it's hot and the glass is cold, you could break the glass. So let us um, take my sauce, just cool it down after I'm done cooking it and put it in the jars. That way there, I don't have to stress out about keeping things hot. That's good. Prepare food using fresh ingredients in a tasty recipe. Okay, so to can, tomato sauces, pickles, jellies, jams, fruits, whole sauces, chutneys, um, pie fillings. I don't know what a chutney is. All right, so, um, et cetera, and other high acid foods. Okay, well, that's, that's what we're doing, and tomato sauce is very acidy. You also need ball 21 quart water bath canner. What is that? Oh, I have that downstairs. Or equally large, a stock pot with a bell canning rack for small batches. See, I have a big humongous thing that I used to bring to the skate parks um, for spaghetti. And I never, I thought it was like to put a chicken in there and you lift up the rack. I'm like, why would I want to do that? So it's really not for that. It is for the canning. All right. Fill pot with enough water to cover jars. At least one inch of water and heat to 180 Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit. Fill each hot pot and prepared food. So you're going to fill the jar with the food. Follow canning recipe for correct fill level. And where's that? All right. Each jar needs space between the food and the rim to allow for food expansion. Okay. Uh, tip. Air bubbles inside jar can impact cooking effectiveness. Remove bubbles by sliding a small non-metallic spatula inside the jars, gently pressing food against the side of the jar. Wipe any food from the rim of the jar. Center new lid on the jar. Then twist the band just until fingertip tight. Fingertip tight. Okay. Ensure bands are not over tight. Are we getting this? Um... Air inside jar must be able to escape during canning. Ensure bands are not, it says not, with a capital N-O-T, over tight. Air inside the jar must be able to escape during canning. I thought that this was like not supposed to let that in. All right. Place filled jars onto rack, then lower into simmering water, ensuring jars are covered by one inch. So you wash everything. You put everything inside if it's cold. Um, otherwise, you leave the can, the jars in the water, uh, in warm water, um, so you don't break the glass. And then you make sure you put um, a spatula inside. Okay, uh, there's a certain level, maybe one inch. Let's see, fill. All right, yeah, you got to fill your pot at least one inch above the jars. Put the jars inside, and then. Um, one inch of water is over them. Cover with lid. Don't put the lids on too, too tight. Uh, cover with lid and heat to steady boil. Boil jars for the time specified in recipe, adjusting the... Where's the chart? It says I have to see a chart. I don't see a chart anywhere. Too many complications. This is what I mean. <laughs> see chart? Turn off heat and let jars stand in water for five minutes. Remove from water and cool jars. Oh, this little guy looks hungry. I have to go get him some food. I'll be right back. All right, back where I was.
at before. Turn, uh, it said to, uh, after you let it boil, um, boil jars for the time specified in recipe, adjusting for altitude, but I don't see al al alti altitude. Turn off heat and let jars stand in water for five minutes. Remove from water and cool jars upright on wire rack or towel on countertop for 12 hours. Ugh, you're kidding. After removing jars from the canner, do not retighten bands that may have come loose during canning so as not to interfere with the sealing process within the first 12 hours. So turn off the heat and let jars stand in water for five minutes. So you're going to put the jars filled with your stuff in the water an inch over, um, not too tight. Um, you're going to remove the water, remove from water the cool jars upright. Yeah, you always use that, don't you? Make sure it's clean, though. Um is that deep enough? Down below. If you want a glass one, down underneath. This is really big. Give me more Oreos so I can use that because this is really big. Fine. Then I want you to use more cream cheese. After removing jars from the canner, do not retighten bands that may have come loose. Okay. Anyway, so I guess you turn off the heat, let it stand for five minutes, remove from water the cool jars. Um, upright on a wire rack or towel on top for 12 hours. All right. Let, oh, 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 here it is. The altitude, okay. Altitude chart. All right. I don't understand all this. Okay, what, what are we saying? What? Oh, I gotta go figure this out. Okay, I have a question. Do you know how many feet above sea level we are? Oh. Well, I have to know. I do. 3,000. No, sir. Yeah. Above sea level. Because mm -hmm. like, when I read this, I'm like, altitude chart. I'm like, what? What does that have to do with the price of coffee? And I guess it does. If you are preserving at an altitude higher than 1,000 feet above sea level, adjust the water bath processing time. Oh, my gosh. I don't think we're that high. So, um... So if you press on the cover, okay, if you press on the cover of the lid and it makes like a flexible motion or sound, what you have this? to put that jar in the um, refrigerator. It's so that I can can make a ton of something, put it like all spaghetti sauce yeah. and make a ton of it and then store it away for up to a year if I need it. Yeah. So this here... You can use it right away if it does make that noise, or it will tell you, I guess, over here if you um, need to re redo it somehow. All right. All right. And this other side is all for pressure canning the pressure cooker, which I am not doing. So I think I got it. I think I got it. It feels overwhelming and a lot to go through right now. Oh, I hope I know what I'm doing. Never want to break my camera. No. Listen. What? What? Here. Use this. My hair looks like. Use a this. Cricket. Use this. No, don't waste that. Put it in. Oh, Let me God, help us all. Chill, dude. Man, that was gnarly, dude. There's way too much chocolate. I regret this. Never gonna. Well, last time it wasn't that. enough. Yeah. yeah, make it crunchy. What's that cream cheese? Uh, Doesn't kilo mean a thousand? Why don't you know? Didn't you go to school? Yeah, I don't know metrics. What did what did they uh, teach you over there? I just saw puppets. Puppets. Kermit the Frog, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Home economics. Home economics. What class is that? Home economics. Oh, it looks like there's not enough here. Why does it look like that? I compared to like a bunch of other times. It looks beautiful. Probably because it was all over your hands. No, look, it's actually not enough at all. Look. I know. What happened? Did you eat it? No. Is that four? Yeah. You know what it is? You really mixed it well this time. What do you mean? Just I don't know. Did it like disintegrate? <laughs> like I can't make a thing out of this. Try. Like go get it. We'll have to put eggs in there. Get the crust. Oh, that's probably why. You gotta add more and more. 
Can you crack them? I'm not cracking. You, are, you have to no. practice. I get all those shells. You have to practice. I know. No, you have to practice. Go. Not like that. Do it against I here. Can't. It's gonna go. You find the fine there. edge and then you crack it against there. Crack, crack, no, he has no, to learn. Practice, and no, it's gonna go like this and it's gonna make, shatter everywhere. And then I have to go. Practice through each makes piece. better. Oh yeah, that's the one. <laughs> no, you can't do that. That's how. That's why you have to do one big crack. No, you have to get that. I'm one no, big crack. One big it's crack. It's gonna go everywhere. Well, like if you do a ching 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 ching, yeah, you're getting little pieces. You have to do it on something. Look. Look, 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 look. See the side right here? This is where you're doing it. Right here. Do one for me. Not for me. there. Do one for me. Boom. Now you're going to get shells in there. Exactly. You're a hacker. Do you one, see there's already shells? Shell. There's one little shell. Oh, you. Uh, and you're so bad, bro. Oh, now there's two. Bro, you're so bad. See, that's why. Well, it's better it's not than even not, It's not even all out. I can tell you fine, guys fine. to take a home in the Nick and I'm in class. <laughs> Until you're dead. What? No. You crack it on the side, on the side, not right there, on the side. Turn can it. Right there? I mean, you could try. <laughs> you have to do it on the side. Good. And you get a one good whack, but you did it there again. Good whack. You can just stick your fingers in. That's what they my friend Alma does. You cannot person. waste them. These are not cheap. Daddy, come on, homie. I don't. It's cream cheese. <sighs> Bro, oh I can't gosh, do it. Just... All right. We're going to try. These eggs are actually more yellow. They're actually better. That's how they're supposed to look. They're like bloody. Not Ew, bloody. listen to this. Stop it. I don't like this. Don't Good, he cracked the egg by himself. Hallelujah. Now listen, right? There's still a crust in there. That's doom. I mean, a, um, a shell. So it's, somebody's going to have something crunchy, but they'll have it with the, the crust. Yeah. They'll never know. Yeah. Very good, very good. Practice makes perfect. Oh, don't watch that. Hey, hey, hey. So pretty. Then you look ugly. So here we are at the skate park, and I am so shocked. All of a sudden, in the parents' lounge, one of the, this, I heard this really deep voice, and I'm like, that's not one of the young kids that's here right now. And all of a sudden, my daughter's eyes lit right up, and it was somebody that we know from New Jersey. And so wait till you see what they can do. All right, there he is, there he is. He's so good, he's so good. So good, really nice people too. This is his little brother. They're both so good. Boy, they really padded up too today. It was excellent, excellent to see. what this guy can do, okay? Today's his birthday. He just turned 19. Yeah. Nice. Nice. There we go. Yeah, we're talking. Gentlemen, boys and girls, these are the gymnasts of the skate park. And who has a talent? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs>
don't hear that big like crash. No, I don't One more shot. 